Hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll see how to fix the scepter monitor no signal issue. So let's get started. Why does my scepter monitor say no signal? Loose or faulty video cable connection. The video cable connecting the monitor to the source device may be loose or damaged. Incorrect input source selection. The monitor may be set to the wrong input source. You need to select the correct input that matches the connection from the source device. Power cycling issue, if the monitor and the source device are not properly powered on and off, it can lead to the no signal message. Outdated graphic card drivers, outdated or incompatible graphic card drivers on the connected PC can cause the display issues. Monitor settings reset, if the monitor settings are not properly configured, it may result in no signal error. Hardware failure in some cases, the no signal message can indicate that uh, a hardware problem with either a monitor or the source device. So now let's see some of the solutions to fix this particular problem. Solution number one, check the connections use. Unplug the video cable from both the monitor and the device. Source device, wait for a few minutes to ensure any residual power is discharged. Reconnect the video cable securely to both the monitor and the source device. Solution number two, power cycle, turn off the monitor and the source device, unplug the both the devices from the power source. Wait a few minutes to allow from the, for the complete power cycle. Plug both the devices back in and then power them up. Solution number three is check the input source. Use the buttons on the monitor to access the menu. Navigate through the menu to find the input source settings. Ensure the correct input source is selected. The solution number four is check the cable. Test the video cable by connecting to the another compatible device. Verify if the alternate device displays the signal. If the cable does not work with the other device, consider replacing it with the one. Solution number five is update the drivers. Go to the official website of the monitor manufacturer. Look for the support of the driver section. Search for the latest drivers compatible with the specific separate device model. Download the latest drivers compatible with your operating system. Ensure you are getting the correct drivers for your separate device model. Follow the installation instructions provided by the manufacturer. Complete the installation process as guided to update your separate device drivers. The solution number six is monitor settings. Access the settings menu on the separate monitor. Look for the device preferences option within the settings menu. Locate the reset option within the device preferences menu. Within the reset menu, choose the factory data reset option. Proceed to the select, erase everything to confirm the reset process. And the solution number seven is professional help. If the issue persists after updating the drivers and resetting the monitor settings, consider contacting the separate customer support team. They are the expertise. They will help you to fix the problem and they give you the better solution. So this is the website scepter.com slash support slash contact us html the technical expertise team they will surely help you to resolve the issue you can also contact the tech support team through these numbers or you can also contact the customer service number with these numbers you can also send a mail to them okay So once you contact them, explain the problem you are facing in the detail to support the team. If necessary, seek help from the professional repair services to diagnose and address any potential hardware problems. Okay. So that's all about this particular video, guys. I hope you like this particular video. Please just subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.